Hey guys, it's Fold Punch with an updated tutorial video for you guys as promised. This is the new HTC Touch Pro 2 on Boost Mobile 3G Network. Uh, we're going to do a rundown of um, a couple of applications and vital information that you need for your phone for you first time users who haven't gotten used to your phone yet. Um, as this right here, as you can see the very two differences in the phone. This is the Manila. 6.5 energy ROM to the right and to the left is the 6.5 energy uh, max sense UI ROM. Um, the difference between the two, let's find out. Um, the, the, the Manila to the right is um, it already comes preloaded and everything like that. Everything is like in your face. It's not, it's not too many things that's like unorganized very like organized for you right out the box so you don't have to edit anything or put any widgets you know um, the interface is you just slide everything to the right you know you got your settings right here all the way to the right your call log your weather right here your Facebook your Twitter your documents your reader footprints stocks calendar music on and on and on and on and on and right here, the interface is not like how you put your finger on the home tab and you just scroll to the right and all that. On the Max you Sense UI, the interface is just wherever you put your finger. So you can just slide to the right. And there goes your voicemail, your call, miss call, and it'll tell you what you need to know. Or you can use this right here and it bring you to other places. And you just scroll your applications and all that good stuff and um, let's do a run on a couple things first um, first is to conserve battery life let's say I'm on YouTube right and I go on it let it run let's close that out let me close it out and I also run Windows Media in the background and I run Skyfire in the background all those three apps bring my memory. You see how slow the phone is now, because the more applications you run, the slower it is. You have 94% memory. Let me see if I can get that a little bit clear for you guys, because it's camera. But 94% memory. The more applications you go on the phone, the more battery life you're consuming. So everything you got to do is conserve battery. What you got to see with your HD Touch Pro 2 is it's not a phone. It's a computer first phone second. So think of it as your laptop. If you're on your laptop, the more um, icons that you open up, the more things that you open up in the background, your computer is going to lag. And with this lag, it's going to eat up more battery life. Exactly like this is. So if you want to conserve your battery, you could either click on these X's or the easy way, how the Energy 6.5 ROM is, is to hold the, uh, the call key. So when you hold the call key, it's going to tell you what's open. Just like when you're on your laptop or your computer and you press Control Alt Delete, there's a task manager right here. Press Control Alt Delete on your computer right now, and you'll see this come up as a task manager. Same exact thing on your phone. And just, it's just it's a Control Alt Delete is just pressing the call key. So you just press End Task, End Task, End Task, and now your phone is faster. You see that? It's faster and it conserves battery. But that's not even the number one thing to control to conserve battery. Your number one thing to conserve battery is um, your battery settings. The brighter your screen, the more battery you're using. So what you want to do is go on your menu and your settings, and once you're from your settings to your systems. So let me show you that right quick. So let's go on here. It's the same exact thing, right? You can press your menu and all that. But you can do it through here also. So you can press your start key. Once you press your start, you see settings. Press your settings, your system, and you see your power. It says right there. Click on your power, and it says backlight, battery and backlight information. See, mine's is set at 60. 
if you want to conserve your battery, put a little bit lower. If you put it at 100%, your battery will be dead within a couple of hours. You won't even have it for the whole day. So if you, if, if you want to use it for the whole day, last more than 24 hours, put it at 40, you know, or 30, depending on how you are. When it's at night, you know, the, the screen is, is, is already, you know, bright enough and it's dark so you can see it. You know, put it at, put it at you know, 40 or 30, somewhere around there. It's still bright at night. During the day, you probably want to leave it at 40 or maybe even 50, but not, not all the way out of here. Out the box, when you get the phone from us, it's going to be at 100. So what the, one of the first things you want to do is bring it down to 40 or 30 to conserve battery life. You know? And also what you want to do is on the battery power, you want to dim it. Every 30 seconds that you're not using the phone, it automatically dims to conserve battery life. The phone does everything it can to conserve battery life. And turn the, the device off if it's not using for a minute. It won't exactly turn it off, but it'll turn the screen black in the, in the background. Everything running in the background. And that's it to, to conserve battery life right there. That's one of the most vital things. Um, There's also a rundown of applications, putting in applications. I already, already, already put that in. So it's um, your memory card is in. You already have the memory card in the phone. You can get your memory card from anywhere from Walgreens to Walmart to Target to Radio Shack. It's an SD, SD uh, memory card. You press your, your start, you press your, um, your tools, and go to File Explorer. Once you're in there, you can look for whatever app that you want and just download it in. That's your Boost MMS fix, that's your picture messaging. You would press it, and that would give you, you know, picture messaging. Um, also, all these right here. You got your CNN Mobile, your Coin Flip. All these in here. So whatever app you get, your PM backup, your Persian Blue, nothing but applications. Let me let me show you the little difference right here with the Max Sense UI. This is the my my personal favorite right here. So let's say I didn't want the clock right there, right? For the Max Sense, I click that and go to Edit Widgets. All right, and now I'm in edit mode because you see widget edit mode. I click that clock, bring it down to the garbage can. Let me bring it down to the garbage can. And now it's gone. Clock gone. And let's say I want a different clock. I go to clocks. I want a analog clock. And it's right here. Now let's bring it up. See that? Custom made. That's the difference between the... The Max Sense UI and the Manila. The Manila is already done for you, and everything is is already done. The Max Sense UI, it's you know, it's your own way. It's however you want it. You could do everything from your applications, how it has in a row. This is how I have it set up, to your battery, everything here. If you want nothing on the screen, you could have nothing on the screen. Absolutely. Your Wi-Fi router also. You know, that's pretty much it. Um, to put the pictures in, you, you have to put uh, an SD card or you can have the pictures on your phone. And um, you can look at it through your album. So you go to multimedia right here and go to your album. And you'd have all these pictures if you want. Just scroll through all the pictures you want to see, and that's it, really. So, that's pictures right there. That's easy. And music also, you download music into it, just, just like your iPod or whatever, you just drag and drop. You put it into your computer, just like how you do applications. Turn Windows Media, and you see the library. You click your storage card on your library. I have really big fingers. Press your music, go to your artist, whatever song you want, and just play it. You know? And that's your music right there. Put your headphones and call it a day. You know? It's a little cold play for you guys. And that's it. If you guys have any more questions, you can email me at phonepunch at AOL.com. Visit my website at www.tp2boost.webs.com. And 
Hit me up. Later.